Hi, a very good morning to all of you. Today, we are going to discuss this particular question. In some countries, children are spending more and more time playing by themselves and less time playing with other children. Who are the reasons behind this? And is this a positive or negative development? So the question uh, asks you the reasons behind the the hesitancy of uh, children to play uh, in their surroundings with other children and whether this particular trend is positive or negative this is what they want to know from you so two particular questions are there and this is not a, a, a personal opinion question this is to be answered in a rational way so you please don't give and use any personal pronouns like I, we, are, us, all these things should be avoided. No personal expressions there in this essay. You have to see this in a general uh, view. So uh, you have to see how uh, uh, people in general, how they perceive this particular situation. Not in the sense that that you have to um, give your personal opinion. It's not asked actually, your personal opinion is not asked in the question. So they are asking the reasons in general. So if you are giving a particular reason, it should be feasible to um, others. I mean, 99% of others. I mean, it's quite natural to have another one one person to object it. So I should say that in general, if you are saying a, re, a particular reason that it should be acceptable to most of the people around. So if if there are ten people in the group, uh, nine should agree to what you say. There should not be strong. Uh, or differences in between when you you present an opinion in this particular question as reasons. It should be quite natural, more rational as you present in an opinion essay. So in an opinion essay, you be free to present your own views and opinions. You can twist the tail, but I cannot twist the tail here. I have to, uh, give a rational opinion which is feasible to uh, almost every uh, person in across the world so that's why the reason that is this that is this this particular reason why we have used the word it is common to see so we have not started the essay like nowadays today in the modern era we could have started this say by saying that, but we have not done that just because it is a general opinion. It's common. It's it's it, it's we are dealing with a, uh, the general public. So it is common to see that in some countries, children enjoy playing by themselves rather than involving in a group group uh, to play. So here I have not changed the word children. So in uh, in many uh, of my students' responses, I have got um, uh, responses like a child, one particular solo, um, all these things. We I had a lot of vocabulary like that uh, because they might have interpreted in that in that way because you know that in a home. They picturized it at one child playing alone, sitting with their video game uh, gadget and all. It can be possible, but at the same time, you, you may have more than one child in a home and they will be playing uh, in their own rooms. No, there may be plural subjects too. It may, there may be not um, a single child. We may not, we may have a single child at the same time. We may have multiple children there at home those who don't have any interaction with other children around outside so we 
do have a classification of the child or children inside the home and children outside the home. So this is what the thing. So I have no right to change the word children. As it is, I have mentioned so children. No, I am not changed to a child, a particular child. So children is children here. And I have not made any major changes there. So when we understood that we should not we should not change the essence of the question yeah we have uh, we and we should not copy the question as it is we have not copied the question as it is we understood that this is the thing the same thing i have presented in a different way and different structure there in the introduction part and we have answered both of these questions what are the reasons behind this the core reasons behind this can be attributed to the changing lifestyle, number one, and the over-influence of technology, number two. So the two specific reasons are mentioned in the introduction itself, and it appears to be more negative in nature. So we have said more negative. In, I have not said it is completely negative. It is completely positive, I have said. It is more negative in nature. So I have to prove in my paragraph, it is more negative. I don't need to present completely positive or completely negative. I need to mention the positive and negative things there in, the, in that particular paragraph. And I need to prove that there are some concerns at the same time, you need socialization. So this is what we have to present there. So very, very clearly, we need to uh, we need to present this particular paragraph for what this is what we are going to present in the coming paragraphs when we see this thing as uh, something which uh, highlights which which is going to indicate what you are going to write in the uh, essay in the coming paragraph you need to make that thing concise it should be brief and it should, uh, it should point on what you are going to write in the coming paragraphs. And the num number one paragraph is the primary reason here. One of the primary reasons, one of the primary reasons behind this seclusion. So we have a co cohesive, we use the cohesive device there. So this seclusion, so what seclusion? It, uh, clearly has an indication towards the, the 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 introduction part. So this seclusion, which seclusion? Yeah, the seclusion. We have mentioned this thing earlier. So this connects the idea to the previous sentence. So I have to make sure that I am uh, giving ideas which are connected to each other. So this is what we have done here. It's connected. Yes. So um, one of the primary reasons behind this seclusion is the tremendous change which has occurred in the lifestyle of people in the modern world. So we have seen tremendous changes, not small changes there. We have seen tremendous changes. And how? So we need to explain how the changes happen. So if I need to say, how the change happened, I need to compare the past and the present. So how it happened in the past. People lived in joint families and they had got enough time to take care of their children. They had, they had a lot of children there. They had a lot of time to take care of them. There were more number of children in these families and they played in variety, they played a variety of games in groups. So this was the situation in the past. However, as time advanced, nuclear families also in case, in, instead of uh, joint families, we can see now a lot of nuclear families and permissions were not granted for children to play outside. Now, even though we do have uh, um so we do have a lot of children still but this population is increasing we are living in nuclear families and we we are not allowing our children to go outside and play 
because most people consider most parents consider it as unsafe and this is <coughs> some of the the change which happened in the lifestyle of the people so we we transform uh, tra we transformed our life from joint family lifestyle to a nuclear family lifestyle actually when we when we go with the a clear explanation we should understand that this is what happened actually the second reason is the technology now the second reason so one of the primary reason now the second key reason so both these things are both these paragraphs are going ahead with reason so the title itself says that it is reason and it is explained in the paragraph. So what is the second reason here? Is a technology, intrusion of technology into the lives of children. So we did have a technology intruded into children's life. To be precise today, children have the provision of playing advanced video games and virtual reality games online sitting inside the four walls of their house. So you can see that these, these children are playing video games inside their own houses. And this passively arrested them in their own private uh, spaces rather than socializing. So I can say this, but this passively arrest them, okay. This passively arrests them in their own private spaces rather than socializing with other children. It means so it, it means that we are not going to wait a minute, please. So we we our children, they are not going outside because they are they are arrested in front of front of the video games and all these things. So this is what we can see in the second paragraph, the reason number two. The reason number one is the changing lifestyle. The reason number two is uh, the intrusion of uh, advanced technology into the life of children. Now, when we go ahead with the third particular paragraph, we are going to see <clears throat> the effects we are assessing the effects. When analyzing the effects of this trend, not many could say it has more positive impacts as they feel socializing is an essential part of human existence. Now, socializing is an essential part of human existence and, and then that this is the reason why most people, they don't see this as a positive trend. So if you are, if your children are secluded inside the home, many people, not many, many people, they don't see it as a positive trend because they see that it is an essential skill. Socializing is an essential skill. So as socializing is an essential hill, human beings are social beings. So we need to socialize with the, uh, people with others and this is what we have to say and this is the reason why most people think that this is negative and why children have to learn from their surroundings they need to they need to understand they need to observe and they need to learn from their surroundings especially from their peer groups or else it may affect their coping mechanism adversely in future now we have a a lot of people who are brought up like broiler chicken. And when they are exposed to outer world, they don't know how to live. Their marriage life will be a flop. Their professional life will be a flop and their social life will be again a flop and they'll be in a, a depressed state. They do have good education. They do have got a good education. Um, they do have good um, skills too at, at the same time. But they don't know how to behave in the society around them. They don't understand other people properly. Then this is something very crucial in, in the modern world. We are bringing up children uh, like broiler chicken. 
So what happens is that when they grow up, the result will be pathetic. They won't be knowing anything about life, about the social situations, about the feeling of others. If they marry a, a person and if they uh, start living together, they don't understand what exactly is the purpose of marriage. How, what responsibility they have. And uh, if they assume a job, they, they don't understand what exactly is the purpose of their job. It's a career, how valuable the career is in their life. So I can, I can see many people, they just uh, throw away their career once and they join another firm. They throw away their career, they throw away there. So you, you can see in one year that these people will be joining different organizations. So this is what we can say, it's, it's improper, uh, you know, that it, it's what they, they are not understanding. They don't have patience. They don't have the understanding of the people. They don't understand what, what, what problems employer has. They don't understand what the situation, the co-workers, their co-workers has. So these all types of problems exist in today's world. And here I need to say socializing is a crucial factor in solving all these problems. And it is something, and if, if, if we are not allowing our children to play outside, we don't have the opportunity uh, to socialize. The, the children, don't, they don't have the opportunity to socialize. And this is what's it. But we need to consider at the same time, one need to consider the concern of parents. You need to consider the concern of parents. It's something real that, uh, that it's not all uh, situation children are safe. If we are allowing our children free outside for playing, I cannot guarantee that this thing, that, that the child is safe. You know, that the child may go ahead with the bad companies. It's unsafe, but particularly in uh, this technologically advanced world. We cannot make sure that the, uh, the children uh, will be mugged. They'll be kidnapped sometimes. They'll be into drugs sometimes. They may be into unwanted relationship sometimes. So there is a concern of parents because you know that uh, children, parents will be at least happy when their children are there close inside their home. They, they make sure that their children are happy when they play with their technological gadgets. And the second benefit is that they, they feel they are safe. We need to consider the concern of the parents too. So this is a concern. Even though we have discussed the vital, um, the crucial role of socialization in a person's life, in a child's life, we need to understand the concern of the parents too. So we have to understand, we have discussed both these things in this particular paragraph. And from this particular paragraph, I can see when, if, if, I, if I go ahead with a proper supervision, socialization is something essential at the same time, we need to um, look after the children in a better way that they are not going into bad companies. They are not deviating their minds. So this is what, so it is said that it is, it's more negative in nature. So we have proven that. Now we have to see the conclusion. The conclusion is the summary of this thing, this thing, and this thing. The, all these three paragraphs should be there in the conclusion, the summarize. It summarizes that. To um, conclude, it is obvious that two of the aforementioned reasons play a crucial role in creating a hesitation among children to play with other children around. Two of the aforementioned reasons, I have not mentioned aforementioned reasons, two of the aforementioned reasons, which are the two aforementioned reasons, number one and number two. I'm not repeating because it is already mentioned over influence of technology and changing lifestyle in the introduction. So if, if I add that particular thing in the conclusion, it, it, it will be a repetition here. So I'm not going to repeat that. 
so that is the thing here so if you have not given uh, this particular thing you have not mentioned these things there in the introduction instead you have given two reasons then you would have brought this thing down changing lifestyle and influence of technology in the conclusion now we went with the reverse order we went with the reasons in the introduction itself so we don't need to re go ahead with the exact reasons again in the conclusion so it is a, it will be a repetition so we have not done that so what are the the key reasons in creating a hesitation among children to play with other children so these two reasons are there and most people perceive it as a negative trend and the answer so i have said in the subjective way itself i have not said anything personal most people perceive it as a negative trend not all situations are safe for this thing so i have uh, not many could say so it appears to be more negative most parents so underlined the areas which i have said uh, it's not in these areas would become personal when you go with a personal opinion question these areas we have to say in my opinion i believe i think you can go ahead with that but here i am not going to do that I'm going to say in a general perspective. I hope this thing is clear to you. Thank you.